Please simply consent to speak to me just a word, a moment with you, would, ca would ease my soul. If I cannot be with you, I will have to resort to something drastic. Please consider your feelings. Your husband is allowed away for weeks at a time with no consideration for your needs. I have always been there for you and I always will be. We should be together, dear Rizzi. Why are you keeping this here? You don't care? Hmm, probably. A girl get a break? Maybe. Speak up. No. I should show this note to Riz Iceman and speak with her about that issue. Uh, probably. You have found the letter, have you not? It is true that Rigmar and I had been a brief affair, but that has ended. He refuses to let me go, though. I fear that he has caused this trouble just to get rid of anger. You must put a stop to this. My husband is a good man and does not deserve this fate. Okay. Speak up. Hmm. You found the letter, but why would... This is an outrage. I never... I only wanted the woman. Why did that fool have to choose the wolves? He could have simply left and she and I could have been together forever. You know my crime and I know you must tell Hartfunk. Let us go to him. I will accept my fate. <laughs> That's easy. I have expected some kind of... Uh, retaliation. You were to investigate a crime. Have you done this? Sure. So Halfhand has invented this tale of theft over a woman by the Owlmaker. This will not go unpunished. By Skull tradition, making a false accusation carries the same penalty as the crime that is claimed. In this case, either exile or death by, sac by sacrifice to the wolves. The verdict is yours. Decide. Halfhand must be exiled permanently from the Skull, or he must be fed to the ceremonial wolves. Which do you choose? Hmm. Since I am an evil character, I should feed him to the wolves. To the wolves, then. You have shown mercy, Sigurd, allowing him to die with this honor. Perhaps you have some wisdom after all. Lead the prisoner outside, that he may accept his sentence. The shaman will summon the Cainlarn to perform their f function. function. But first accept this token. It is unlikely, but perhaps you too can be more like wolves we really were. Helm, or Helm of the Wolf's Heart has been added to inventory. Okay. Fortify attack, fortify, fortify agility. Okay. What's your story? Dead already. That was quick. Nothing interesting. So, what's next? Thank you. 
You have done well, Sigurd. You have shown your loyalty and wisdom, but there is one thing further I will require of you. Now you must prove your strength as a warrior. I wish you, for you to travel to Lake Fjalding. I will mark it on your map. Seek out course to Windai, who has traveled there already. He will give you further instructions. Look for him on the northern shore of the lake. He is our shaman. You should spend more time with him with, with Steve and less in studies, but still, he can provide you good advice. On the northern shore. Okay. So I should travel directly south. What's your story? Two reclings to the left. It must be him. Ah, you are you have arrived. These are strange times, my friend. I'm unsure what magic is being worked to cause such a disturbance on the lake, but you were sent here to prove your strength. What disturbance? Fire from water, flames through ice. Strange indeed. Hartfang leaves the drover lord who lives beneath the lake. Is the source of this. But I am not certain. I feel that this could be a sign of the Bloodman prophecy. Though I pray to the All Maker that this is not so. Really. Drover. Once they were warriors. Much like the skull. Trapped and hungry. On this island, they feasted on the flesh of their fallen comrades, which is a crime against nature. The so Allmaker cursed them with undeath, forever doomed to walk the lands in search of more of the flesh of men to consume. Okay. Bloodman prophecy. It's an ancient prophecy, one that I hope is a but a myth. It tells of a time when the moon above will turn red and the wolves that walk like men will walk the land. The prophecy tells the other signs that precede the blood moon, but they are not all costly interpreted. Let us speak about this in, in another time. For now you are to prove your strength. Hartfang has sent you here to show your strength, your ability to survive in the harshest of conditions. Beneath that lake there are a series of ice caves. In one of those caves you will find a sleep. A dragon lord. Hartman believes he is one responsible for the disturbance of the, the lake. He sleep. <coughs> From what I have read read in the histories, a sleep was once powerful mage who delved in necromancy. As a result of these dark magics, he was made a Draugr, but he retains much of his immense power. You are to heal this creature and perhaps end his madness. This madness. Take care of, take care with this task, Sigurd. This situation seems odd to me. Okay. What a bracelet, my friend. Interesting. Ice caves below the lake. Very interesting. Okay. 
Okay, so fiending. So this is directly underneath. Yeah, I cannot drown or what? Can, okay. Okay. cave system okay let's take this passage first Okay, let's check the other one. Hmm. Okay, multiple passages. I should restore my attributes. Much better now. So where next? 
I see uh, I saw something there. Yes, there is a passage I think that way. I want to explore the rest of the caves first. Is this the right way? I don't remember. Yes, this air sleep slayer. Let's go. The ring is good. It's not very useful, at least mm, I can use some repair of hammers. Mm. 